What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are bringing back the Rat Rod Radio Flyer Wagon for some much-needed TLC and front-end upgrades. The chassis has been rusting to perfection like a fine wine Sounds over time. Good. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, so we think it's also time to go ahead and clean it up and clear coat it just to stop the corrosion process. The other day, or this summer, Charles did an awesome jump with the wagon and gave it a little bit too much camber, so we're gonna fix that. Yep, so we have some spindles from gopowersports.com. They're gonna be a great upgrade. We're gonna put some caster in this front end, and uh, yeah, it'll just hold up way better because this thing was designed for a five-year-old, but it turned out to be way too fast. You know, this is the first time we're really tearing into our oldest project. Yeah, because we've really not done anything. We just beat up on it. Yep. I love this thing. Uh, okay. It's been, uh, <laughs> there's a washer in there that used to be on the outside. Yeah, there's the other one right there. I guess it got forced onto the inside. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we're doing this. Yeah, it, it, it needs it. it. It needs... It needs the work. Man, maybe we should have lubed this front end. Cute. Very cute. Yeah, the steering is on. Isn't that interesting? It is. It works though. Yeah. There's the whole front end right there. So simple and small. Yeah. And there it is. So light too. A lot light. This is the most stressed I have ever seen Ike in my whole life. I mean, this was our first big project. It was designed for the weight of a five-year-old. I know. <laughs> it was designed to go 12 miles an hour. I know, dude. But, you know, it was our first... Was it our biggest project? Yeah, I mean, it was our first time we ever built a frame, which is about the most basic frame you can get with zero caster, uh, very little camber, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was designed for a five-year-old drive. But man, it was it's our very first project. <sighs> I know you're sentimental, man. Oh yeah, I'm definitely sentimental, but you know, we're, we're gonna make it better. Hopefully no one will object. It's done. Excuse me while I go cry. So, one thing is sticking out though, uh -huh. those tie rods. Tie rods are also from Go Power Sports. We recently discovered the amazingness 
and versatility of these tie rods. They work as, well, tie rods, and we also have them as a clutch linkage on the tie rod. They're just amazing. Anyway, they're too shiny. Um, well, we can paint them, or we can scuff them up and just let them rust. I say we, yeah, we scuff them and then let Father Nature. Time do, uh, yeah. do his treatment. Dude, the steering is, uh, a lot smoother. Oh, really? Yeah. Good. Well, we need to go for a test drive. We should probably do that before we clean yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Does it, does it steer better? I really think so. Okay. Even though it was neck and neck with the hot rod mouse, this feels like it has a lot better pickup. I don't know. Yeah, it, it you know, I think we definitely have some carburetor issues going on by well, the amount of bogging. It's, it's wore out. Yeah, it's like a 20 year old, 30 year old carburetor. But yep. yeah, dude, when it's going, it really goes. So we need to fix that front chain that's skipping so much. That'll help performance. We need to fix the pull, the pull handle. Yeah. Yes. Clean up, paint, let the front end rust, and it'll be as good as it ever has been. Yeah, it's on the teeth are starting to round off. Boy. I think that's a roller bearing clutch. Feels great. Ike's been fooling with the chain and I've been cleaning up the chassis. Nothing too drastic, just a scuff pad and some paint thinner. Break down some of the oils on there. We're gonna get some clear coat on this puppy. The chain is still loose. So we are going to add a couple of washers under the engine just to pick it up a little bit. And while the engine's off, Go ahead and clean up the surface so we can paint it too. Ready to paint? Yeah, buddy. Here, have some popcorn. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I picked that one up off the floor. <laughs> Got getting all in it. I'm glad we're finally doing it, man. I know, yeah. It's needed it for a long it's time. Too long. It brings out the color again, dude. Yeah, like I said, I don't hate it gloss. So, uh, the gloss. 
Tell them why we went with gloss. Why is it gloss? Yeah. Because uh, the can was in the wrong spot at the store. And that's my fault. I just picked it up. We intended to grab semi, but it turns out to be gloss. And hey, it looks great. So yeah. It's all good, man. And I was going to top it off with a matte on the last coat because we have a quarter can of matte. But I'm, it, yeah, the gloss is looking pretty good. Plus, gloss is easier to clean. Matte doesn't clean up as easy. That's true. She's awesome! Thanks for tuning into this episode, everybody. It's always great to bring the old rat rod wagon out and show it some TLC. Uh, it does ride a whole lot better, too. So as you can see, we're at the new headquarters right now, whereas this video was shot mostly at Ike's place. We shot this video right before all the COVID-19 stuff went down, so we finished that up, we threw everything in the truck, and we headed out here. Uh, so we have started a brand new project that's going to be airing on Cars and Cameras YouTube channel next Monday. So be sure to stay, uh, stay tuned for that. You are not going to want to miss it. So uh, until then, uh, check out Wednesday's video, and check us out in between videos on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews and help support our future projects by picking up a t-shirt or a hat at cars-cameras.com. I hope you all are staying safe out there and are washing your hands. We'll catch you next time.